Hi, I'm Abigail Bornstein, and this is part two of the video on binary. In this part, I'm going to cover how to go from binary to decimal. So as you can see up on the board, I have the number or the binary 00110010. And binary is usually written as a byte of information, so I have, which is a bit, eight bits, so I have eight bits up here. And the way that you start, as soon as you get a byte of information, is that you have to put the numbers underneath, which are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Now, where did I come up with these numbers? Again, it has to do with the fact that binary is by or to base 2. So you always work the base number of 2, and you raise it to the power. 2 to the 0 is 1. 2 to the 1 is 2. 2 to the 2 is 4. 2 to the 3 is 8. 2 to the 4 is 16, etc., until you get to 2 to the 7th, which is 128. Okay, so it's okay if you don't completely get the whole base 2 idea, but it's important that you know that you always write 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128 in that order. All right, now I want to know what in the world is this number or this decimal equivalent. So all I have to do is, first of all, I'm going to clear this away so we have room to work, is anywhere where there is a number 1, I will bring down that number. So I have a 1 under 32, so I bring down 32. I have a 1 under 16, so I bring down 16. And I have a 1 under the 2, so I bring down the 2. Then all I need to do is add these numbers together, and the result is, if you add this up, you'll find that the number is 50. And that's all there is to writing the decimal, the binary to decimal. Okay, let's do another one. All right, I've got 11100101. One, 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 zero, zero, one, zero, one. So again, wherever I have a 1, I bring down the number. So I've got a 1 under 128. I have a 1 under 64. I have a 1 under 32. I have a 1 under 4. And I have a 1 under 1. And I take each one of these numbers and I add them up. And that gives me 229. So what would be the absolute highest number that we could write if we had a byte of data? Well, in that case, that would mean that I have a 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And if we were to add all of these numbers together, that would equal 255. So if I went from 0 to 255, that would actually give me 256 possibilities. So good luck converting your numbers.